Hello, welcome to Gordon School of English. And today I am going to make the analysis of the poem that is called Understanding a Human Being. This poem was written by a Tanzanian poet who is called Chaz Mroka. Listen to the poem before I make the analysis of the poem. The most difficult is feeding an adult man. Whoever may be, the best challenge is. Generous he might be, imbued with this frail. With your relative stay, however, close you may be, staying without sharing the costs. A day will come when you will be shamed. Blamed you will be for consuming her food. No food today, dare puzzles you, you will. No money there is, daily slogans will face. When are you leaving? Expressions common will be. Understanding a human being manifests well in feeding. This is the end of the poem. What is the poem about? Well, this poem was composed on 10th April in 2004. The poem talks about how a person is supposed to live. The poem generally wants every person to be independent. The poet exposes how it is very hard to live when you are living with people and uh, at the same time or at the same time you don't have something you contribute to them. It, it may reach a time that they chase you away or they, they speak words which make you feel ashamed. Now, dear students, as you know, this poem is used by advanced level students in Tanzania. Let us look at the title of the poem. The title, Understanding a Human Being, means that human beings are complicated creatures. You can't understand them. Some people take other people for granted. We may therefore argue that this poem teach people to live and understand their fellow human beings. What is the type of the poem? Type of the poem. If we closely read this poem, we can understand that the poem teaches us a lesson on the do's and don'ts in life. That means the poem teaches human beings what to do and what not to do. You see? So, in other words, the poet tells us what to do if we are to live well with others. Poem of these kinds will be supposed to follow in the category of didactic poetry. Didactic poetry are those kind of poems which give instructions to readers. Dear students, now, apart from the type of the poem, let us look at the tone. Let us look at the tone. The poet seems to be serious in tone. This is proved by the context created by the poet. Right in the first stanza, the persona talks about how being care, how taking care of an adult is a challenging situation. The persona argues that it is naturally the duty of an individual to take care of himself or herself. So we argue that the poet through the persona tells us that he is very serious about what he's discussing about in his poem. We may also say that the poet has a sympathetic tone because um, he may be interpreted as pitying people who depend on others. The way the persona says plus that the poet is aware of the sufferings that people who depend on others. Uh, what are the possible themes that can be depicted or that can be seen in this poem? Uh, the first theme is self-reliance. The poet or the persona are devices that whoever you are, you must fight to be self-independent. Don't depend on others because in the end, you are going to be ashamed. And most of human beings are not able 
to tolerate you for such a long time that you stay with them without contributing something for them or for their family. Another theme is human love. The poem tells us that human love has an end. This is contrary to God's love for those who have their faith. That if you are to live with a human being, you have to understand that human love has an end. So you do not need or you are not, not supposed to stay with them for a long time and especially if you don't have something to contribute to them. Another thing is life hardships. The personas in this poem discusses the issues of how people fail to tolerate you with their friends because of life hardships. Because sometimes you pay a visit to someone whose life is difficult, you eat from him, you eat whatever he brings in, in the family, and in the end he feels like, ah, this man is consuming my 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 properties is consuming my food while I don't have money to buy more. So it is better if you pay a visit to someone or if you stay with with a person, don't stay with him for a long time because you may get imbalanced one time, right? Ladies and gentlemen, dear students, especially advanced level students in Tanzania and you, those who love poetry from all over the world, apart from those themes, what are the messages that, can we, that we can see in this poem? This poem tells us that we should know that human beings ought to live without depending on others. In other words, this poem says that we human beings must be self-independent. What is the relevance? Is this poem relevant to Tanzanians? Yeah, this poem is very relevant to our today's lives because actually there are people who live depending on their fellows and knowingly that they will one day be hated. So it is better for them to find what to do so that they may be self-independent. Being self-independent or being independent brings respect. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for following me through this channel. And, you know, God bless you.